Muleketi highlighted the high levels of crime, corruption and unemployment as some of the major challenges facing South Africa. She added that the pandemic hit South Africa hard, but even the response efforts to it was made by corruption. The attacks on foreign nationals also drew Muleketi's condemnation, saying it tarnishes the country's global image. Wamere would definitely not have been happy with the current uh, political climate. Um, as it relates uh, to our political reality, our socioeconomic reality, and also the behaviours that we've seen displayed by individuals and some political leaders who have mobilized communities around their vulnerability in a way that projects negatively against what's seen as the other. Dr. Fraser Muleketi also fired a stern warning to the ANC ahead of the 2024 elections. The ANC has no choice but to renew itself. It's the oldest liberation movement on this continent. And as I said, you know, there is a call to all of us to ensure that we do make a difference. And we have an obligation to make that happen. At the end of the day, the conduct of members of the movement has resulted in quite a stain on this movement that has been known to be a glorious movement. And I think it's, uh, it's a difficult moment. The Palapala saga around President Cyril Ramaphosa and the parliamentary process underway regarding that also featured in the keynote address. You're asking me a very difficult question um, as uh, a member of the ANC. But I believe that this is the issue that needs to be dealt with by the ANC and by parliamentarians. Uh, very clearly, it's not an easy step to take, and I feel that I don't want to comment beyond on this particular matter. The family of Omre, as he was affectionately known, praised the university for honouring his legacy. The, the family is very glad with the initiative that is taken by the, by the university, which shows that... Uh, the university is keeping the name of Omre alive and uh, so many things we hope they are going to take place in our area, even in Fort Beaufort where he was born. The, the roads are going to be repaired. The center will also host an annual lecture from now. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Kabecha in the Eastern Cape.